Hey everybody, it's May, and I have the large plum paper planners here. I have done the new kits, and I want to show you what the new layout is and what uh, large plum paper planners I'll be offering in the shop, and a first look at all the kits. So just stay tuned. Alrighty, you guys. So, oh, sorry it's been a minute, but as y'all can imagine, it has been super, super busy. So the first large plum paper planner that I'm going to be offering in the shop is the large daily. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. What I did was I ordered most of them to start in January because um, I may want to switch my planner. I was thinking about selling them at a discounted price, but I don't know, guys. So as you can see, the first major difference, you guys, is the white tabs. That way it's going to go and it's just very plain. I like the way it looks. If you switch to the front, there is color on the, um, the title page. And then here is your monthly calendar, your, your overview for 2024. And then you do have color on your mini months and it says special dates. And then it does have color again on this page for each individual day. And this says ideas, plans, and goals. And then it gets right into the new look. So you got this blank page right here that just says notes at the bottom. And there is a little bit of green shading right there. Then, like I said, you got the white tab. And this is our new dashboard, you guys. So it's extremely wide open. It's dealer's choice, really, how you want to set it up. I have gotten a lot of requests to keep the circles. Um, I kind of thought with the circles going away that nobody would really want them, but it looks like, you know, people still want the circles. So the way I set up the kit, you can kind of go with the circles or not. It's going to be your choice. So this section right here is just dot dots for dot grid. Then you do have a checklist right here with like some little hollow dots. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Let me kind of bring it up to the camera a little bit. And then you've just got plain right here in these two sections so um you may want to put a sticker here or labels here if you don't write straight like i know i don't um but you get dot grid up here checklist with lines and then two blank spaces and then of course your notes page over here and at the end of the month you will also have that notes page as well so the plum paper um monthly did not really change in the sizing at all the only problem I had with sizing the monthly kit in any of the large planners, even the um, the Happy Planner Classic, I mean the Happy Planner large size, is you can get the, the sidebar here, but I gave you a full deco box to cover up this calendar if you choose to cover up the calendar. Because with the print cut area in Silhouette and in Cricut, you cannot get the full length of this in the print cut area. It's just not going to work. So you have a very plain looking month. And then here is your daily section. You get your top priorities. Now I didn't customize any of these planners. Um, some of them, I went ahead and added a page protector in the back and I pretty much chose no color. That was the only customization I really did. So it says today's priorities with three lines and three bubbles to check. Today's schedule you have a section here to either write in the time or to use timed, um, you know, like stickers, like a lot of shops mm -hmm. do, which I will be actually adding to the add ones. Then write in what, you know, on these, on this side with these lines of what your schedule is down here. It says meals, but if you have a washi strip and a script, it could be whatever you want down here is the note section. Here is the daily gratitude. Again, you could cover that up with a washi strip and rename it what you like. Um, if you chose to have it unaltered like I did, and then here is your to do section with plenty of lines. So this was the way that the kit I had done before looked in the planner and it's pretty much right on point. There was a few things I wanted to change and a couple of things that I didn't like about the previous kit was that I had all the headers, the days of the week and the date dots on one page and then you had seven pages that were identical right behind it. I wanted to try to condense the kit to less than eight pages total and that's what it did. So I'm going to go ahead 
and show you what the kit looks like for the daily. So let me go ahead. This is not it. This is not it. Like I said, guys, I, I might have been absent from YouTube, but I have been super busy. And I have not received the 7 by 9 and the A5s yet. They are coming today. Uh, Larry called me a little while ago and said they're on the truck. He'll be here in a little bit. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. So, let's go ahead and get doo -doo 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 -doo, this kit going. Okay, so here is the daily kit. All right, as you can see, the page sizes are much bigger, and I had to order larger mailers to make sure that they will fit in the mail. No worries. So, you have two, and then two, and then two. So, you'll have three matching washies, and then the fourth will be the oddball. You will have your date dots. Well, they're date rounded squares. And then your individual days and your silverware up here. That way you can use the washi on whatever page you like. If you like your washies facing each other on the same page. And then the last washi to be the either the beginning of the week or the last day of the week. Or you can just, you know, however you like. So that is sheet A. Then sheet B is your full boxes. And this is to cover, let me go ahead and flip it open to a page. This, this box right here will fit in the daily gratitude section. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in just a hair more. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back into frame here. All right, so these boxes are going to fit right in this area. So you get a sheet, on sheet B you get four, and I did put a uh, clip art in them, and I always will. Then you have another four. Yes, there's only seven days of the week, but in order to give you seven, I went ahead and just did, um, you know, four to a sheet. There might be one you don't like, and so you ain't got to use it, you know? And it's a good good sticker, a really nice size to be left over. You know what? As I'm thinking of it, let's go ahead and flip back to the monthly. Let's check that out. It would fit very nicely in this area. I mean... Let's go ahead and pull one off and show it. How about that? So, I mean, it can fit in this area, no worries. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm going to set this to the side because I have a plan of something to do while I'm showing you guys all these planners. Ugh. Okay. So, sh that was sheet B and sheet C. Then, sheet D is your top priority boxes. So, you have all seven. You have plenty of scripts and arrows. So if you didn't want to put a time in here, but wanted to annotate something in your schedule or your daily to-do list or whatever it is, you've got plenty of these little arrows and they're going in both directions. So you get seven of the word of the script, important, today, notes, to-do, gratitude. You get two day off and six work because you might work six days a week. So that's sheet D. Then sheet E would be washi strips to cover up these areas right here. Okay, so that you could put a custom script, whatever you like. So you do get four, four for each day of the week on sheet E. And the reason you're getting four is because it's for this area. Let's see. One, two, three, four, right here. Okay. I believe your top priority box is something different. Hang tight. I'll show you what I mean. And then... Down here for notes, I'm skipping ahead a little bit, is sheet G. This is your long to match your headers of the week to go across the bottom for notes. Okay? So that's what that is. So sheet G gives you one hour labels, some uh, circle dots, and the bottom washi to match your headers. And then, of course, sheet F is just a sheet of half hour labels. So you have more than enough for the entire week. In the colorway, you have one hour labels, half hour labels, your washi strips, your top three priority, your full deco boxes, and then your headers and date scripts and date dots with some silverware. Anything else that you guys might need, you would need to use the large add ons, which will be coming to the shop with this new release, and it will be something that we offer, I offer every single release. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to set down the stickers for one day so that you can see how they size out and how they look. So just hang tight. 
Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I laid down all the stickers. So I'm going to try to zoom you in again just a little bit more so we can look at this in detail. And I want to show you how beautiful the sizing works. So it's not one to zoom in a little bit more, so let me go ahead and bring you in. So as you can see, the top header strip works perfect, and I put the matching header strip down at the bottom to say notes. The label right here, the one hour label, you can see it touches the bottom line and the top line perfectly. And it ends right here in this section. But in the notes section, you have plenty of room. So you can actually add more labels on both sides. You know what I'm saying? This completely covers the gratitude box. You could label this with a washi strip, whatever you like. Most people say highlight or something else, but I included gratitude in the kit because it tends to be the one I get the most often. I put the washi strip here, and I hope you use the word important. This is how big your silverware icon is. It's going to be a little over the line. Your arrow fits perfectly in here. So does your circle dot. This is your half hour label, and as you can see, it's sized side to side, and it is perfect within the line. And then up here, I just put another washi strip and the script to do. But I wanted you to see the offsets on the scripts and how the scripts will fit in the half hour label versus the washi and everywhere else. I want to be very transparent that I am very proud and a stickler about my measurements. And I want you to be rest assured that when I say plum paper kits in my shop, they are absolutely sized for not only this size planner, but for the individual planner that you're getting. My header strips are different for every single large plum paper planner. They are not one size you figure it out and do sticker surgery. It's gonna be sized exactly this kit just for the daily. Will it work in other plum paper large planners or medium or A5? Probably, I'm not sure, but I sized this daily kit for this large daily planner. And that will be true for the seven by nine daily and the A5 daily. It will not just be strips I give you and boxes I give you and you figure it out, you know, it's gonna work in a plum. No, it's literally sized only for this planner. Use your leftovers where you like or buy sheets and use them in whatever you want, but I literally did it this way for you. So this is a look at the large plum daily. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. The next kit, uh, uh, next planner that I ordered was the large me layout. Now you'll see that this little booger is super chunky and I'm extremely upset that it was damaged. Um, they rushed this order to me. Um, believe it or not, it did come very late. Um, there are some imperfections in some of the stuff like down here it's bent. On the back, it's bent, but this will actually be my personal planner. I'll be setting it up uh, either today or tomorrow. Uh, today is July 31st, and this will be my social media planner. So, it is white on the front sheet. There is no color on this one. So, let's go ahead and see if there's color on the mini ones. This is 2023, year, is at, a year at a glance. And here is your 2024. I need to go ahead and zoom back out. I am so sorry. There we go. In just a hair, I guess. All right, so there we are. And then the mini months, and this one has absolutely no color. Now, again, this is the me layout. It could have been that they didn't finish uh, switching everything over. I did order before the sale, so that could have something to do with it. I'm not sure, but in my particular me layout, there is absolutely no color. And then on the mini months, uh, Again, for the ideal notes and goals page, there's no color as well. Okay, so we have this blank sheet that says notes at the bottom with no color here. And it was, you know, green on the last one. Same setup, it says August. Now, mine does run from this August all the way through December 2024. Same dashboard layout. And then here is the monthly. Same look. And this page is going to look maybe a little ratty on camera because um, I was testing and untesting a lot on this page. I really, really wanted to make sure that my stuff worked. One of the big noticeable differences, I think, is that this is super awesome the way it looks now. Um, when it's, you know, the first, the last day of the last month, instead of like that shaded out color, it's just pretty much blank. It's still there. You can see the lines but it's super, super light. I like the checklist uh, in this planner. I, I don't know if it was like that in the other one, 
but I really, really like this. So what I did was I went ahead and formatted the kit, and it is different than the me layout that I had originally designed, but I didn't release those into the shop yet, so it's not like there's any changes to have to worry about. The kit I'm going to be putting in the shop is going to be the kit sized for the new sizing, not the old sizing. So let me go ahead and show you that kit. Let's move this little booger out of the way for a moment. So, doo-doo-doo-doo. -do -do -do. This will be the large plum paper me layout. This is your sheet A. Let's go ahead and get zoomed back in. All right, so on this sheet, as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the large ones because I didn't want too many pages. I wanted you guys to be able to have just enough stickers and then fill it in with add-ins, add-ons, I mean. So you have your rounded squares for your dates, you have your sidebar checklist, you have a habit tracker, you have a full box. You have the script this week, habits, and I put on the kit social media because I'll be cutting this kit every single week for me to set up my social media planner, and that is the script I wanted in that area. So then you got your silverware. You've got individual checklist boxes. I'm going to go ahead and pull one off. So you've got individual checklists that you can use anywhere you like. Then you've got, for this section... Do, 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 do. Let's just flip to a page because I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set it off, up, set it up off camera to show you, and then bring it back. So these right here, you get seven in the seven by nine in the A5. There's only six of these. You'll have to order your own custom scripts. This area is too long for a print and cut area to be one strip. I am super bummed about that, but you know, you live, you learn, you get loves. So you get seven in the four colors to go down here. And then of course you have your top washi strips. So that's sheet A. Sheet B is full boxes and functional boxes that that go with the, clip, the, the kit. And they fit perfectly in these areas right here. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I tend to need a lot of boxes. So I also have them in solids and in patterns in case you didn't want full boxes or the checklist. So that's the way I did it. That way you'll have plenty of options, but if you're like me, you'll probably use both. And then of course, here's your washi strips to go along the top. You get some uh, basically half hour labels, one hour labels. You get some two tone labels right there. And then I am into these new squiggly little washi strips. They're like my favorite thing to separate out uh, sections when I'm doing stuff in my other notebooks, and I really like it. And if you look at it pretty close, the way I designed it, sometimes you'll get that really cool white offset at the top. I just think it's super, super neat. I really like it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera, and I'm going to go ahead and set up this side of the page and that side, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I do have everything done. Um, I did want to show you that this much washi tape will be cut off of over here just uh, to make it perfect. And if you're like me, you would probably cut just a teeny, teeny bit. I'll show you. Just a teeny, teeny bit off the washi at the top, but I'm just being picky. So I did want to show you that all the stickers fit the full boxes, the checklist the full boxes here that are uh, plain. Here's your uh, silverware. It goes just a hair above the top of this line. Then you have the patterned um, boxes, the two-tone labels, the little squiggle, the little half-hour labels, the one-hour labels, the checklist. Your sidebar looks really good. And I gave you generous sizing on it. Um, it's actually a bit wider than the box that's pre-printed on the page. That way you don't have to stress. I can see that where social media is not completely, you know what? <laughs> I'm torn anyway. You could put a label in here and put a script to name your habits, whatever you like. And then here is your top washi, um, headers with your date dots in it, your top washi. And then over here is your Thursday through Sunday and your top washi. So this was a look at the large me layout and the four page kit that comes uh, that I've designed to go in it. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get started with another one. The next planner we're going to look at, let me go ahead and move these out the way. And in case you're wondering why I'm putting these stickers in off camera, anyone who watches my plan with me knows I struggle and constantly move stickers. So I'm trying not to make this video any longer than it needs to be. So the next one I did was the horizontal priorities. That's what I ordered. And as you can see, this one really got bent up. And so did the January tab. But there is no color on the monthly view or on the mini months or on the blank mini months and then no color down here for notes this is a january start <clears throat> excuse me of course here is the dashboard the plain notes and here is the look at the monthly kit like i said the monthly kit has absolutely not changed okay so you can see that over here the the labels fit the top washi fits this is the the washi i cut you know for the extra days here is your sidebar and then here is this so let me go ahead and show you what this monthly kit looks like let's go ahead and put in the rest of the elements and then we'll show the horizontal priorities so sheet a you get two sheet a's you get your choice of sheet a's put it that way you either get a monday start with your labels your sidebar some scripts and your date cover um your date dots or a sunday start and the scripts that are included on sheet A are priorities this month, next month, birthdays, events, bills due, notes, and goals. So as you can see, I've already laid them down. Okay. So sheet B, like I said, some people really wanted those circles still. But I did take the suggestion that a subscriber had put onto one of my videos recently about taking the lines off the circles. So that I did do. So you will get solid... Um, I guess you could say skinny and fat labels. I'm not really sure what you would want to call them in the monthly view. Uh, in solids and in uh, patterns, you get this box right here that will cover up the calendar should you choose. And as you can see, you just lay it flush with the sidebar and you're good to go. And that covered up your calendar if that's the way you like it. And then you get curved goal one, two, and three to go on to the circles, okay? Should you choose to use it that way. That's why a lot of people wanted it. So um, that was sheet B, okay? So sheet C, there's two options. You can either get it with a plain open box, the four labels that we're all used to in the previous dashboard for things to remember, projects, birthdays, and I put this month. Then you get the goal one, two, and three that are straight. In case you don't wanna use the circles, you have them ready to go so that you could just, you know, on this right here, if that's where you want to use it, you could list them out in a row or however you like. Then you get two choices of washi, two strips each to cover up your notes page and then to have extra. And you get the same sheet, um, sheet C2 is this exact same sheet I just showed you, except instead of a plain deco box, you have a habit tracker. So that is sheet C. And then, of course, we have um, the washi strips to cover up the days of the month that there are no days, you know, in that month. Um, that's what I did here. So that would be, and it's different than the top washi. That was another suggestion by Alexandra, and I'm listening to that one. I kind of like it. And then, of course, your monthly add-on. So here is your, uh, what you call it, <laughs> your bill due labels, and then some icons and two-tone scripts. Okay, so let me go ahead and let's do this dashboard. Let me show you what I was thinking of for it. First, we'll do the notes page. So I'll go ahead and get, hmm, let's use the floral. So we'll bring the floral over here, put it right on the line. And since this washi is, um, it is not sized to just stop at the end of the line. I just sized it for the size of the sheet. And this is why I've been putting down the stickers off camera. It's because when my hands are tired, it's a nightmare. I have neuropathy, and so I know doing this over and over and over would not be a good idea. So you would just get your trusty ruler and your X-Acto knife or whatever your slice tool is and cut your washi, and there you go. So that's your nose page, okay? 
then I would do just me personally is I would cover this up as well. Um, since I've got enough washi, I'd probably go flush to the edge of the page. It was something I was not doing in the other one, but you know, if you can, why not? So you would just come on all the way over and then I would go ahead and use my ruler, my X-Acto knife. I would line it up to the edge of that line right there. Probably do a little bit extra generous. There we go, so that way I know I'm within it. Okay, so let's say I wanted to use, let's do this one, but I'm gonna take this off to show you what it will look like with the circles. Okay, so this box is sized pretty generous, so you don't have to stress since it's such a large sticker. And if you can see, there is room between the bottom row of dots and this line. So I would just, you know, go right here to about where them dots are starting. And before I commit, well, I guess I'm committed, y'all. Alright, let me even it up because it's looking a hot mess. Or actually, let's just... Yeah, it ain't gonna be perfect because we ain't keeping it in this one. Trust me. All right, so then I would probably say this month for the checklist, that's probably what I would do. You don't have to, you've got four labels or you can put these down and use your custom scripts, whatever you like. Whoops, I'm a little too far over, how about that? And name it what you like. Okay. Okay, there you go. And then let's see, things to remember would probably be here. Whoops. I gave you a little bit of generous spacing on either side. So you can either trim to be exact or you don't have to stress about, you know, not being so perfect. Because there are many, many times I am super not perfect. So I'm going to butt this one up right here. Why not? It'll help me stay straight, I think. And then over it goes. Okay, and so what I would probably do is I would grab the circles from Sheet B. And I would probably just layer them in here. I haven't done this yet, so I need to I need to see if you can put them side by side. I don't even know. But if you didn't use this box, you're not confined to the space of it. You got what I'm saying? You could totally get away with not ordering the dashboard page if you don't want to. Oh, let's let's space them out a little bit. Make sure we got room. All right, and then this would be the third one. It looks like it's gonna be okay, but I just I really want to know because I would hate to tell you guys, oh yeah, it'll work, and then mm -mm, it's not really gonna work. Okay, so it did. All right, and so you've got goal two and goal three. So that's just basically what I would do with it. And then you've got two washi strips left over to use on the, the last page of the month. So the only thing I didn't put on yet, you guys, was, let's see. Let's put on a date dot so I can show you. We'll do uh, 30 because it looks wider than 31 so that I can show you it really does cover the numbers. You won't see them. Okay. Doki. So there we are. And it works perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the horizontal priority. So, so far that's three kits we've done. We've done a monthly, the large daily, and then the me layout. Let me move all these little bits of stickers. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and flip to a page. This is where the kit was that I had previously done. And I wanted to double check sizing because it gets um, a little bit different in this one, and I didn't like this. So I'll show you what I came up with. Basically, here's a blank look at it. You've got a full box over here that's plain. You've got an area like for a full box or just whatever you wanna call it. You've got a habit tracker. You've got your days with a checklist. This says priority and to-do. Like I said, I didn't alter them, so this is the way it came as a standard. You've got your Saturday and Sunday split down here, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The only difference down here is you just don't have the checklist, you know, for these days. And then it's the same over here. You have the calendar. 
and then you have your Monday through Wednesday checklist, priority, and to do. So let me go ahead and show you this kit. Oh my goodness, so many kits. All right. This is your large horizontal priorities. Woo. And it is only a two page kit. You get a full box, you get some circle dots, you get the all four colors, you get your date dots, you get some skinny strips that are long, you get this uh, wide box for like up here with some clip art on it, you get your habit tracker, you get brush stroke days, and you get your silverware and two scripts on this page say this week and payday. And then on this sheet, I crammed as much as I could guys. Some skinny labels to name and custom scripts which you like to go across these areas right here. You got some shorter little skinny strips, you got some labels, you got a weekend banner, you got some wonky arrows in both directions, you got a planner that matches the kit. You not only have these labels in solid, you also have them in pattern. You get two, three, four, five, you get seven priority important today and to do. Planner time, appointment this week, next week to buy, errands, notes, gratitude, goals, and appointment. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, lay it down, and show you where it differs from the kit I had before to the kit I have now. Okay, you guys, so this is the way it looks when it's put together. These are where the skinny strips go, the long ones and the short ones. Um, and this is how it looks if you do not put in the skinny strips. So it's... If you got it neutral, I don't see where you would have to. But I do think that if you didn't go the neutral route and you still have color, these skinny strips that are included in the two pages um, perfectly cover up that color so that your week doesn't have like an odd color when you lay down, you know, the, the kit uh, for the week. So here's your full box. Here's your long deco um, open plain box. I put the word to do here, the script that's included. Here's where those strips go and where you have plenty of room now to write out. Whereas in the kit option before, you'd been writing on a solid strip or on a pattern strip. And that just, hmm, I didn't like that. So, oop, here goes my paper clip. So, you could put the script to buy, uh, to do, whatever you like. This is left over from the um, add-on sheet for the month. And I forgot to show you when we were in the monthly. I didn't lay one down, but I went ahead and did it that the um, bill due labels do for perfectly fit. So this is the way, you know, this side of the page could look versus over here is your habit tracker where you could either write in or have custom scripts, another full deco box, your brush strokes, your days, uh, your days of the month, um, the, the dates, the numbers are kiss cut. Um, I showed how the arrow works. It's actually touching the line. Here is, uh, it's just a hair over the silverware is. Your deco labels are going to be down here for your weekend. This is where I put the weekend banner. I'm not sure if I would even use it on a horizontal priority. I put planner time in this open area here to show that you still have room in between your days. And then the circle dot fits perfectly within the line. It doesn't go over and it doesn't touch. Um, I don't know. I kind of don't like my dots to touch the lines. So I just wanted to show you that mine do not. Um, in case that's a big deal to anyone. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you what this looked like completely on both pages with the skinny strips and without. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the next planner. Okay, guys, so the next one that we're going to look at is the notes and days. And this is my master planner. Um, this plastic cover did get damaged a little bit. I got it in August start all the way through um, the end of next year in December. I did ask for an extra page protector. That way I could store my stickers back here because with a large planer, they're not going to fit in a junior binder like the rest of my stickers do. So it does look like that just that first planer was the only one with shading. So there's the 2023, 2024, mini months and the blank mini months all no color yep no color on the back and then here we go for august so it's the same dashboard same monthly it does not change um so this is the look for the the notes and days and this is completely different so let me go ahead and show you what my master planner looks like at the moment and what i mean about it is different um ooh. You no longer have the calendar 
in this area. So the kit that I had made for it absolutely had to change because this is now just a large open box. And the Saturday and Sunday is no longer on the same line and length. It is now this way, where it's individual days down here. You know, you got your Saturday, you got your Sunday. So this was the way that the kit did look. Um, I'm basically showing you like my master planner here. Um, you had the, I had a full box, the big deco box, the skinny strips, the little airbrush days, and then you got these and some scripts. Um, a solid washi to use across here if you didn't want to have a weekend. Um, you know, so it's kind of like it had to change. So let me go ahead and show you what the kit's going to look like now. So it's just going to be like a one and a quarter sheet. <laughs> I tried to get everything on here, but you guys, it just was not working. So you're going to get these two solid strips that's going to go in this area. You're going to get the large deco box to go up here. You're going to get um, circle dots and silverware. And then you're going to get these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight washi strips. Because here's the deal. Your Monday's going to go up here, right? So it's going to match up here should you choose to use it that way. And then you've got one for each of these down here. So on the second sheet is your days of the week, your um, rounded squares for your date dots, a few icons, a planner, and then some scripts that say this week notes, goals, important, gratitude, priority, next week, payday, errands, to do, planner time, and laundry time. Um, I chose these scripts because, like I said, this one's also going to be my planner. So the large notes and days and the large me layout I will actually be using. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. So hang tight. Okay, you guys. So this is the way it would look on this sheet right here. Okay, so you've got the one washi strip right here, your deco box, your two solid. And I don't like the size of these scripts. I want them to be a little bit larger. So on this sheet right here where you get the scripts, there's going to be a change to this. And I'll show you why in just a second. So this would be the way it looks. And I'm going to increase the size of the scripts because I'm not happy with them. And I also am not happy. And like I said, this is the planner I'll be using. So this is why it's got to change. <laughs> There is absolutely no more room in the print and cut area for me to get anything else on here. But this will automatically, it's not like you get a choice whether you want this sheet or not. It automatically comes with this sheet. It'd be priced for both sheets together as like, I don't know, not really a kit. It's just, that's the way it is. Does that make any sense? You see, you got these two washi here. But if you go washi number two, washi number three, washi number four... I'm the type of person I would want that washi to repeat right here. And then if you don't want to do Saturday and Sunday, you could use two labels of the same color down here or whatever and just not put your day of the week on, okay? So on this sheet right here, I'm going to be including a third washi to match one of the decos, uh, deco washies that you get. So you'll get the third oddball on here. And this is going to be a little bit larger because I want these scripts to be just a hair bigger. So this is the look at the notes and the days. I like the way it's turning out. Um, definitely going to be using this. And in case you're wondering, I stuck the stickers in most of the planners on pages that I basically just taped together anyway. In case I have problems getting these removable off and tear my paper. So that's the look at the notes and the days. Now, this is the last planner for this video of the large plum papers. But it is not the last large plum paper um, planner I got. The last planner we're going to look at is the notes and days. I mean, the hourly daily. I was supposed to, um, I, I purchased after the fact, the large vertical priorities. That will be coming in one of the packages today. So again, it's the same, you know, many months and all that jazz. Um, here's the dashboard. Here's the monthly. And this is the look of your hourly daily. Now, this is Celeste's favorite kit. Um, I started Plum Paper Planner formatting this planner right here, the hourly daily, because this was the one that Celeste was using the most. And it is by far the most I have sold for Plum Paper. Um, there's a couple others that are close seconds and thirds, but by far this is the planner that most people really ask for. So Celeste has decided to go up to a large, and I knew it was going to be coming at some point, so I'm kind of glad I ordered it before me and her talked about it. And it was really cool because right after I placed the order, she was like, did you get it in the large? I'm like, yeah, I did. 
Okay, so, and I know that Alexandra is going to give it a try in the A5. So, we're definitely going to be offering this one. So, instead of a sheet, a sticker sheet for each day of the week, this I did it pretty much the same way I did it for the daily. So, here are your header strips. And in case you're wondering why this one's messed up, I actually pulled it off of here and put it in the notes and days. And believe it or not, guys, it works in the notes and days across the top. So, here's your sheet A. It's going to be your daily washi strips at the top. It's going to be somewhere, days of the week, and your rounded date squares. Okay, so then, which one? I've got them out of order, I'm sorry. So, it's kind of like the daily in the fact that it's sheet D, B, and C, so that you can get your large deco boxes. You'll get three to a sheet, and then the remaining two. Instead of seven, you'll get extra two, and that is to cover this box right here. I could have did three individual boxes, but why do that when it leaves plenty of room to not worry about, you know, whatever stickers you might want to put up here or whatever you might want to write falling off a box onto another box. Let's not do that. Let's just do one large box across the top. So that's your sheet B, C, and D. Okay, and then sheet E is your washi strips for these areas and some wonky labels in both directions. You get the word, the scripts, important, to do, gratitude, notes, today, six, uh, a payday, two day off, and six work, just like you did in the daily. Down here in the notes section, you get the washi strips to match your daily headers that you put up at the top. You get some circle dots. You get some short half hour labels and some one hour labels. So that is the kit, okay? It's a lot less sheets, and you don't, and if you don't want to do anything but just this and, you know, whatever. These right here, the strips, I'm not really thinking about doing the strips. What I'm thinking about doing is individual um, little stickers. So you can white out the number since it's in the center, and you can put um, the hourly day on, uh, add-on stickers in the large. That I'll be showing that in the new release video, don't worry. But that'll take care of that. If you guys are really wanting custom scripts, uh, strips, strips, not scripts, but strips, then just let me know, and, and I'll add them to the add-on, and they'll probably just be in black and white, so that way you can just add them whatever you like. So I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to put it together, and I'll come right back to show what it looks like. Okay, you guys, so here is a look at the last one, okay? So you have your strip up at the top, you have your rounded square with the date, the script for the day of the week. You have your large deco box and it's generously sized so you don't have to worry about being directly on the line. It'll it'll go a little over it. Um, you got your three washi strips right here and I put the word today, important, and to do. I showed that if you didn't want these hours at all, the circle dots that are included will cover up the dates. Let's go ahead and put it over a 12 and see if that works too, since that's lar the largest one. And it does. The arrow will cover it as well, mostly. Okay, and then here is your one hour box, your half hour box, the long strip down at the bottom. I put notes, and I realized I'm a washi short. So I kind of freaked out a little bit, <laughs> sat here for a second, and then I was like, no, no, no. So, okay. All I have to do is add basically seven more little strips. So it might be that you lose your wonky arrows. And if so, you guys, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you're going to lose your wonky arrows, but they're going to be an add on anyway. So if you really, really want these arrows, because that's where I'm going to have to put the other seven washi strips to make sure that I've got this space covered for every single day of the week. So this is a look at the hourly daily. We'll look at the um, plum paper vertical priorities when it comes in the large size. But, you guys, I think this is uh, a really good kit. I like the way it turned out. Um, I like all of the kits, actually. I like the changes that I made. I like that the sizing is pretty much dead on snazzy perfect. And I'm really proud of myself. So, like I said, the 7x9s and the A5s will be coming this afternoon. I'm going to get started uh, immediately after this video while it's uploading. Going ahead and cutting uh, the current kits for each size in each option so that when they get here I can lay them down, know which stickers need to change, and then get this video out before um, the uh, new release on Friday as fast as possible. 
to show you what they look like um, in those sizes and then come back and do the large vertical priorities. Um, right now, there's a 30% off sale in the shop until um, Thursday at midnight. And all the plum papers have left the shop. They've been deactivated. So as you see plum paper listings back in the shop, they are in the new sizing. I was going to do the old sizing versus the new sizing until the end of the year. But the truth is, the people that order plum paper from me, pretty much all of them have either contacted me, I've contacted them. There's a few people uh, on my list that I still need to touch base with, but pretty much everyone upgraded uh, to the newest planners. There's not that much difference in, in most of the planners that I can see so far. So you, if you didn't upgrade, you'll just have to do a little bit of sticker, sticker surgery. And about that, I do apologize. But I hope you guys like this unboxing. I hope it was thorough enough to show everything that everybody was wanting me to point out. Um, to try to include in kits. And until I see you guys for the next video, y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.